the biggest issue in some people's life will be an upcoming test or an upcoming dance in another child's life. It's whether they'll have the next meal or social anxiety or issues such as social media or family violence and financial issues. But in a child's mind, every issue yeah, is so devastating. It doesn't matter how, how big, how small. I had certain worries and anxieties. As those worries increased and my knowledge and understanding of them increased, I think I found myself more comfortable to talk about certain serious issues. Children and youth come in for things like family breakdown or it could be family violence, I see a lot of people, anxiety, depression, having some social issues with the, you know, friendships or groups at school, maybe bullying, but just, you know, that fitting in kind of aspects. And so what I like to do is just try and help kids to just to, to validate what they're going through and try and normalise it for them. And then the next step is to try and give them a little bit of hope that maybe that things can be different and, and how do we do that. So we wanted to reach children at a much earlier stage. We wanted to reach children when worries are just beginning to emerge. And if they have somebody to talk to about, that can actually start the process for that young person of developing resilience, developing strategies to deal with their worries. So if we can reach those children at that very early stage, we can save an awful lot of time, resources and distress for young people at a much later stage. Don Carey is commencing a program called Resilient Kids Positive Futures. We've developed this program so that we can have a team of specialists who are working with children on a one-to-one -one basis or in a group work setting. Children respond to very close working everyday relationships with people whom they can trust. So we need to work very close with the parents and the children as a family unit to make a significant difference in the lives of those children.